In the 1950s, Francis Crick was investigating how genetic material was able to be read to make proteins. Due to the incredible similarity in structure of all of the nucleotide bases, he theorized that it must be more complicated than having these codons be read directly. He proposed that there must be an intermediary or adapter molecule that can connect the mRNA and the amino acids. This came to be true and we now call them tRNA. Crick was right, an adapter is necessary, as one enzyme cannot read the codons on a strand of mRNA on its own. The anticodons on the tRNA bind to their respective codons on a strand of mRNA on its own. The anticodons on the tRNA bind to their respective codon on the mRNA strand inside the ribosome. The tRNA brings with it the corresponding amino acid, which has been combined with the ever-growing chain. Since tRNA is so vital to protein synthesis, alterations to this process can be detrimental to the organism. For example, this is a bacillus anthracis spore, not literally, of course, the causative agent of the deadly disease anthrax, the treatment for which is a class of broad-spectrum antibiotics called tetracycline. This is the skeletal structure of tetracycline. Tetracyclines work by directly inhibiting the tRNA molecule from binding to the ribosome and thus disallowing the amino acid to form a polypeptide chain. This effectively stops new protein synthesis and the bacillus anthracis cell die off. This shows how vital that adapter is in bridging mRNA and the ribosomal RNA to form proteins and keep cells alive.